When we press the start button, it indicates zero volts. The charger is fine. We are going to remove the dirty water tank. And this is the clean water tank. We are going to install this new one. We have already installed the new electronic board. When we put it in the charger, it starts charging perfectly. Since the Tinco icon is flashing, fully charged, we press the start button. For the vacuum cleaner to work, we must lower the handle. And when we put it vertically, it stops because it is automatic that the clean water tank is empty. When the dirty water tank is full, this icon flashes. And this indicates when the roller is dirty. And if we put it to charge, when we press this button here with a drop, indicating that the clean water tank is empty. Here we have the Wi-Fi signal. The Wi-Fi icon will start blinking. Today here we are going to be looking at this equipment, which is a vacuum cleaner. It can clean the floor while absorbing dirt or garbage. This is a, as the manual says, a Tyneco Floor 1S3 series. It says smart cordless vacuum and washer. It means that it works without a cord because it is battery powered. And at the same time, washer, which cleans the floor. So we're going to be looking at what the problem is. Here is this charger that feeds. Here. Here we have 120 volts in this connection. And the cable has a transformer, which is powered from 100 to 240 volts. That is, the same can be connected from 100 to 240 volts of power, depending on the outlet, and has a 26 volt direct current output to charge the vacuum cleaner here. Let's leave it connected here again. Now here we turn it. The vacuum cleaner has this connection here for the charger. When we mount the vacuum cleaner on the charger here, this part connects to the vacuum cleaner connection. When we mount it on the charger like this, in the charger the vacuum cleaner should start charging. When we press the start button it indicates zero volts. You can see battery level zero. So we're going to have to take the vacuum cleaner apart to see what we find inside, what the problem could be because the charger is fine. So let's improvise on this table here to see what we find inside. Here we have the vacuum cleaner. I guess we should open it from the back because the charger connects here. So we're going to remove this cover, which has one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Here we see that the cover is being forced. Let's see if it has screws on the other side. We are going to remove the dirty water tank. And this is the clean water tank. Here we have this other black cover, which has one, two, three, four, five, and six screws. But here we have one, which seems to be holding the black back cover. Now we have another white cover here. It has two screws here. These screws are white. It has two more screws under this piece. It has a screw here and another one here that enters here and on the other side of here. Here we can see the battery has this connection here and these two. Here we have the three cables that go to the charger base. What would these three cables be in this connector here? The three cables that go to the charger base. Ground, positive and negative. That energizes this electronic base, which is the heart of the vacuum cleaner, where all the operation comes from. The charger feeds here and feeds the electronic board here through this connector. And from here, it should be feeding the battery, but it isn't doing so, which means we need to order a new battery. We may order a new battery and it may not be a battery problem and be the electronic board. So we're going to order the battery and the electronic board too because it could be one of the two, and if one of the two is in good condition, then we will keep it as a spare. 
but we'll have both. So let's leave it like this. And when they arrive, we will know which one or both are in bad condition. Here we have the battery that arrived first. Here we have a Phillips screwdriver. It must be for these screws. A cleaning brush. We are going to test the battery to see if the problem is the battery or the electronic board. Let's arrange these cables here first. And we are going to install the connector that goes to the charger that comes installed in this little connector that is here. We have already tested this connection from the connector to the charger base and it is in good condition. So let's leave it connected here. We're going to put the battery here. This red one is made of thicker cables and this black one. This red is positive. And it is installed here where it says P+. We connect this red here. And the black one on the other says GND, which means ground. And this other one that has the connector goes in this connector here. Now we are going to put this cover on, and if it doesn't work, we will have to disassemble again. Now let's see the battery level, and we see that it has 33 volts of battery level, which means that the battery came with some charge. So let's see how it works. You see. We turn it off. We turn it back on. It tends to move forward, meaning you don't have to push the vacuum cleaner. We are going to put the dirty water tank in. We mount it down here and press it inwards. To remove it, press here and it comes out. We do the same operation to the clean water tank. We can see that it is marking 28 volts since the battery came with some charge. Now let's put it in the charger. We see the level of 28 volts on the battery. But the Tinoco icon is not flashing. It means the battery is not charging. So we're going to install the new electronic board and test again. Here we have the new electronic board. We are going to disassemble again to remove the old one and install this one. We will uninstall this electronic board. This electronic board has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve connectors. Also these two that come from the battery and these two that follow to here. Let's start with this one. And so we are going to list them all. We have put numbers on all the connectors to avoid mistakes in each connector that is installed. We remove the screws that secure the electronic board. This electronic board shows no defects at first glance. But here we can see on the old electronic board that this electronic piece here is white. This one is not white. Then we are going to install this new one. This red battery cable connects to the P plus of the electronic board and the black battery cable here at GND of the electronic board these cables from here. We installed the black one here and the red wire where it says positive. Now we install the connectors in the order we listed. We have already installed the new electronic board. Now we are going to cover it. We must change the position of these cables because they are in the way when closing the lid.
Let's try it. We don't have it on the charger. Now it's going to be using what's left of the battery. Before I didn't even speak, let's see now. We must change the language through the application to English. We press the start button. We notice the sound of voice. Let's see what we have on the screen. We press the start button and see the battery at 28. The Wi-Fi icon indicates when it is connecting, connected, or disconnected. This blue circle indicates the degree of cleanliness. The appearance of red in the circle indicates the degree of soiling. Here we have three more icons that illuminate. And here, between this roller and this one, there is a bar that indicates the degree of feeding. When we start the vacuum cleaner, it lights up automatically. Here is the jammed roller icon, the dirty water tank icon, and the empty clean water tank icon. Now when we put it in the charger, this Tinco icon should start blinking, indicating that the battery is charging. When we put it in the charger, it starts charging perfectly, since the Tinco icon is flashing. We can see here that it changed to 29 volts. We will wait for it to fully load up to 100. We have 30. We have 31. Here, change to 32. We already have 38. We already have 63. We already have 80. We change to 86. Fully charged. We remove it from the charger and we're going to check it out. We press the start button. Remember the language is not in English and we will see that later in the Tinoco application on the phone. For the vacuum cleaner to work, we must lower the handle. And when we put it vertically, it stops because it is automatic. This flashing icon was indicating that the clean water tank is empty. When the dirty water tank is full, this icon flashes. And this indicates when the roller is dirty. This circle, when it begins to change to red, is indicating the degree of dirtiness of the roller. We have moved the charger here, and if we put it to charge, it tells us the degree of charge. When we press this button here with a drop, the vacuum cleaner starts self-cleaning the roller. The vacuum cleaner stopped immediately because the roller is not dirty or the clean water tank is empty. When the vacuum cleaner signals that it needs self-cleaning, all the dirt is sent to the dirty water tank. The water tank is cleaned and is ready to work again. You see, there it is indicating that the clean water tank is empty. Here we have the Wi-Fi signal. If we press this button here behind for three seconds, the Wi-Fi icon will start blinking indicating that it is ready to connect to the network and the Tineco application. We saw that we changed the battery and the electronic board on this vacuum cleaner, and the vacuum cleaner is ready to work. But there can be many problems because all of this is connected to other electrical and electronic parts, like the roller part and the handle. We can remove the handle with a screwdriver through this hole. Press here. We can take it out and as you see, here is a connector to make the electrical connection of the main system with the control buttons on the handle. With a guide here and another one inside, we place it here and by pressing it inwards, it makes the connection again. The vacuum cleaner may have other problems than those mentioned here. There may be problems in the handle part or the roller part. Fortunately, we changed the battery, we changed the electronic board, and now it works perfectly. In the next video, we will be adding this vacuum cleaner to the Tinco app on the phone.